Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at this uh, collection of watches sent in by a subscriber. Uh, and these watches are for sale, so I will briefly talk about each of these watches. I do have uh, a more detailed video for all of these. Actually, they're about two minutes long where I just uh, show them off with some music playing, so you can look at those videos for more of the condition of these watches but um, I think they're all in, in pretty good shape some have some little bit of scuffs and stuff like that but nothing uh, too crazy um, so yeah I mean these are used uh, worn watches so uh, you know what let's I have kind of an order on a list here so let's go through these in that order really in no particular order but uh, here we go this is the first one this is the Hamilton uh, Khaki Automatic 40 millimeter uh, price for this one. It is a, we, we do have a price reduction going on on all these watches. So um, the asking price was 400, now it's 375 for this watch here. It has uh, H, I think it's H40, H80, H10, whatever. It's the uh, 80 hour power reserve automatic movement. Uh, it has a cool brown dial with the Fotina loom, and then you can see the white date wheel there. So 375 for that guy. Uh, all of these do have box and papers. Um, oh, I think they all have box. I think they have some sort of papers with them as well. They all have spare links. Okay, next one will be the Hamilton Day Date Jazz Master. 375 for this one. I think it had a little bit of. Uh, scuffs on it as well, but um, nothing too crazy, but I don't know, maybe my definition is different from yours of um, not too bad of shape, but anyway, you can see here in the video, and then also I have individual videos for each of these watches, and I will be releasing videos eventually of a full presentation, but so far I just have those quick little sale videos, so 375 for this guy, the butterfly clasp, um, Pretty solid feeling watch. I forgot the weight on it, but it's a little heavier than I think you would expect it to be. When it's got a solid bracelet. And this also has the, I don't know if it's the H10, whatever movement, but it has the 80 hour power reserve movement as well. The Hamilton. Push pull crown. Give it a wind, and you can see the second hand there sweeping away. These are six beats per second to get to the 80 hour power reserve. Yeah, day date uh, automatic. Putting them back on the cushions so I know which one they go back on. Okay, next we have the Seiko Samurai SRPD 23 Save the Ocean Great White. This has the hidden shark pin on the dial here somewhere, but you can see it has a textured dial. Uh, it's a very cool watch, a little bit too big for my wrist, but uh, it has a lot of wrist presence, obviously. Let's see if we can give it a Seiko shake. Yeah, there we go, second hand's taken off there. So again, six beats per second. I believe it has a hard legs crystal. Yeah, it feels warm, so I'll say it's a hard legs crystal. I believe it has a ceramic bezel insert. It actually has grooves in here, so everything is engraved into that bezel insert. Loom is amazing on this. Maybe just a little bit of scuffs uh, right there, but not, I don't know, not really. It's, you know, I can't really see it with the naked eye without really studying it. So I think it's in pretty good shape. I don't know how much he actually wore this watch. Uh, but again, box uh, spare links for all these watches. So 275 for this one, 275. I'll probably put it down in the description as well. Just to make it easier, the prices of all these. Oops. See, there we go, Seiko. Get in there. Okay, next we'll go to another Seiko. Classic. The Seiko Starb. This is a Starb 35. Um, the handset's just kind of a weird position. So there we go, got the date showing. Give it a wine. This has a 6R. 15 movement, uh, 50 hours of power reserve, if I remember correctly. It's a real nice movement. Uh, asking 475 for this watch. 
$475. I think it's in pretty good shape. I mean, just a little bit of, maybe a little something right there. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to see these things, guys. So, I'm trying not to evaluate everything with the magnifying glass. So, let the video do the talking here. We have 475 for this one. Okay, next we have the Review Foman a Diver. Again, maybe it's a little bit of scuffs on the case, maybe probably from setting them down on the table or something. A Swiss made watch, Swiss uh, Solita SW200 automatic movement, sapphire crystal, aluminum bezel insert, 60 click bezel. It's uh, a little bit of back play, but seems like a pretty a decent watch here. For 375 bucks, 375 on this guy here. Maybe a little bit of scuffs on the case there, but um, you know nothing too crazy. But like I said, I do have uh, more detailed videos of each of these watches where I'm showing them off. So 375 here, and uh, I think this next one is a really good value. Even at um, I don't know how much these go for now, but uh, this one we're asking, he's asking 300 bucks, $300 for the glycine combat sub. It's on a bracelet here, a little bit of scuffs on the clasp. And I don't know what else was on here, but I guess I'd have individual videos for all these. This also has a 60 click bezel. Uh, one of my favorite watches, I mean, um, for the price. Swiss made, Swiss automatic movement, nice and thin. These are about 10 millimeters thin, 200 meter water resistance. I think it's 42 diameter, and I think the lug is around 50 if I remember correctly. Sorry, I didn't put any of these on wrist, but um, like I said, you can look at those individual videos for these watches. I'll try and link them all in the description. So, 300 bucks for this guy here. I think that's a great price. A little bit of wear on the clasp there, or on the bracelet. I think it's from the clasp is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, opening and closing this, and then just rubbing on there. So, can't really get around that. These were great on a NATO strap as well. I've worn one for quite a while on a NATO strap. They're nice and thin, so the added thickness of the NATO doesn't really bother you too much. And then the downward lugs, it fits great on the NATO strap. That's what I would do. I'd probably take it off the bracelet, put it on the NATO. So again, 300 bucks for this one. And uh, this guy here is good price too, $160. I don't know if I remember seeing anything on this or not. Looks like a little bit on the clasp. But you really gotta kind of look for this stuff. A little bit of wear there. I think it's from the clasp as well. This does have the, um, it's kind of like a glide lock, or their attempt at a glide lock. I mean, for 160 bucks, I think it's a pretty decent watch. Yeah, it's a homage, but, um, you know, it looks the part. Feels pretty good quality, too. Has the Miyota 90S5 in it, I believe. It's a true no-date movement. Uh, but a nice homage to the 39mm Explorer. And it is a high beat automatic movement so 160 for this one put this one back on the cushion this one comes in a little leather uh, case type thing then lastly let's see here one two three four five six seven yep this is the last one eight here uh, i have not done an individual video on this one i don't really know if i will it's uh a resin watch with a stainless steel bezel. I'm not seeing any... I haven't studied it extremely close, but I'm not seeing anything on here. Nice and lightweight, uh, triple, what do they call it, ABC. Altimeter, barometer, compass, uh, temperature, you know, anything you want it to do, it does. Actually, it'll tell you right here, this little dial there. A barometer, temperature, I think that's... Recording, reception, I don't know what that is, stopwatch. 
So yeah, so here actually, push that button there. We're in the compass mode. Push that one there, altimeter. And then this guy does the other functions, so home time, barometer, temperature. I'm not sure what recall is. Stopwatch, the self-explanatory. Uh, timer, alarm, world time. So I think it's pointing up towards uh, UTC. And then back to home time. Yeah, it's a cool watch. Just, I don't know, not my preference for watches. But anyway, this is a sales video. So this one, uh, 260 And it comes with this uh, leather strap as well. This Holbin leather strap. It feels kind of spongy. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. But it's, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty thick. So and it has the quick release pins. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter lug width, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 24. I mean, I'll put this on wrist and then uh, close out the video. Uh, no loom shot for here. So I have a six and a half inch wrist. Looks like if I really cinch it down, I'm on the last uh, position here for this two piece um, NATO strap. Speaking of that, I guess somebody patented the terms or trademarked the term NATO strap. So I don't know if I'll get in trouble for calling it a NATO strap or not, but. Uh, there we go, my six and a half inch wrist. So again, 260 for this uh, with the straps. Uh, if you uh, wanna make an offer on any of these, feel free to send me an email. Send me an email regardless on all this, uh, wrongtimewatch at gmail.com and uh, we'll, we'll get it done. So that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.